right now and forever, yeah. as long as we've had rockets, yeah, yeah. we've been using what we, we call chemical fuels, mm -hmm. yeah. which means they're molecules that have energy yeah. contained within them, yeah. and you break apart the molecule, the energy escapes, yeah. and that is our energy source. Mm -hmm. And so that has not advanced mm. in 100 years. Because you scientists are lazy. <laughs> You're not really trying. We, we use different chemicals, or we have so, right. solid rocket boosters. That's a different propulsion chemical right. than the big tank. But essentially the same concept. It's the same concept. Yeah. And so tell me about plasma rockets, because there's a lot written about it. Yeah. And we're not even talking about fusion yet. We're just yes. keeping in your plasma universe. Yes. T tell plasma me. propulsion is the, basically, we are uh, talking about the next generation of rockets, specifically plasma rockets. And they're highly and efficient, that, yes? Yes, they are highly efficient. In terms of, so there are several things about them is that um, the exhaust velocity is really high. What's hard for people to see, just being earth surface dwellers, because mm. yeah. you say, if I wanna go forward, I just have to run or mm. step on the gas. Mm. You're doing that at the expense of earth beneath your feet. So the only reason why you can go forward is because earth is, you're putting friction, friction between your foot on the earth and you're changing the rotation of the earth slightly. You're pushing back, you're pushing yeah. back on right. it. You have something to push back on. Right, so this, okay? is, this is- In space! Thing. You have nothing- You got nothing to push back on. So the only way you can change your speed is to give something up. And what are we giving up? Mass. Mm -hmm. Take it from there. Yes, you take it, and in this case it's just you create the plasma mm -hmm. or plasmoid through the process of like solar flares, magnetic reconnection, mm -hmm. um, and you detach these, continuously detach these plasma from the back of the rocket and at high velocity. Because it's at high end, temperature, and at uh, high temperature you get high yeah, speed. Yes, high speed, um, and uh, the rocket is being propelled forward. And it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be high temperature. The interesting about the magnetic reconnection is that magnetic, energy is being converted to kinetic energy. So it's all magnetic, yes? It's like the solar, it doesn't have to so be. So this is like, yeah. you, you wanna get from point A to point B yeah. with this, you snap your fingers, you're there. It's like badass. No, 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 no. no badass no. Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 it's different because the particle comes out the back mm. and the rocket recoils from it, but by how much? It's but, efficient, but yeah. what's the mass? The mass is not too much. So, so there are various. It's like, a tiny mass at high speed. Yes, and I have a mass, high mass thing on yeah. the other side that can only then go forward at low speed. Yes, right. Yes. So, how am I going to get anywhere? You're going to get anywhere by kind of having high thrust, high force, okay. and that is through again exhaust velocity. You get it, and. Um, it's constantly you're kind of pushing it, you know, it's like a constant acceleration mm -hmm. you get somewhere in a space. It's different from, yeah. Right, so you 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 yeah. wouldn't use plasma rockets to launch. No, 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 no. Because this they don't have that much, you can't send out that much mass, because anytime yeah. you see a rocket, there's this yeah. is coming out. So you've got to yeah. This yeah. comes out and it goes the other way. rocket yeah. fuel to get it there. To get it there. I think from what I've read, Mm -hmm. and you, but you, you're in the middle of it, so just yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. You, when you're in free space, in open yes. space, and then you turn mm -hmm. on your plasma rocket, mm -hmm. you know, it's like one particle at a time. And so yeah. you slowly accelerate, mm -hmm. but acceleration is a constant, in this case, increase because in your velocity. Yeah, there's resistance mm -hmm. coming on the rocket. No, it's just, it's, there's no resistance out there, it's, just, mm -hmm. it's a recoil, mm -hmm. right? But since it's constant, and you do it for a long time, a long you time. can reach very high speeds. Exactly. How fast it can, can you go? It, so I, based on the results that we have, and we are actually building this um, tabletop prototype at the In your basement. Plasma. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> tabletop. <laughs> We're building this. <laughs> I'm using my oven. <laughs> <laughs> yes. At the lab, you are building it. You can get to... Uh, 100, 500 kilometer per second. But you need to, to get to that speed, you know. Uh, if you go to the moon, uh, you don't need that much of a speed. And mm. you could do it with this plasmoid rocket. You can do, you know, small payloads in three weeks or something with this, with this plasma rocket. And it's not that this is sci-fi, no. 
this is actually for real because we do plasma propulsion with just electric field. Now we are doing magnetic using electromagnetic field okay, so using magnetic wait, but three weeks is a long time and astronauts apollo they got there in three days yeah but we're so, doing the fast you know it's efficient efficient it's efficient it means that it means that you go back and forth uh, it's not expensive uh the fuel it's uh, flexible you could use really hydrogen you know the one that mm -hmm. we want to use for fusion you use, use really light Atom, so it's efficient. So it's fuel flexible and it's efficient. Okay, so so, so you would use this. Like, this would be it's the, like a nice uh, nice car. Yes. This would be the <laughs> delivery vessel for yeah. supplies. Exactly. Because yeah. you can just pl plan ahead, send it three weeks in advance, and then we get yeah. there quickly. And supplies exactly. are very heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, but you'll get there. But wait, we're using, we're using this plasma technology to get the to get the supplies there. Well, well? I, I think the point is. Yeah. Because you're just sending these very low mass particles, mm -hmm. though they're traveling high speeds, mm -hmm. the the recoil is small but real and measurable, mm -hmm. and it accumulates. Mm -hmm. So the I bet if we were to fly humans with one of these rockets, it would only make sense if we were going to like Pluto or something or to the nearest star. Yeah, for then you need for to use this plasmoid propulsion, you need um, nuclear energy fusion or some kind of a battery to kind of give you both force the thrust yet you need like the but like can you the, control like it the so if, you're, if you're approaching a planet's yeah. atmosphere can you control yes because otherwise uh, are you just driving that rocket right through the center of well that? that's a big problem in space travel yeah. because if you can accelerate mm -hmm. and you want to land somewhere you, you have just to pull up like a right right, right right there's no there's right. no right right yeah. so what you have to do is like you know flip the ship around and then have it and have it send out particles the this other way. way. Mm -hmm. So then it's a negative acceleration, right. a deceleration. Right. And so that, yeah. so that that eats up some of your plan. Yeah. But I, might we use this going to Mars, do you think? Yes, uh, yes, because of the, again, it's because of efficiency. You know, mm -hmm. you could use chemical rockets. In to 10 go, years. <laughs> 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 to go there once. If you use all the resources you have, but you really need plasma propulsion um, for getting to the Mars, you also need the energy for that. And that's what the compact fusion compact system come that that's why the, we, we, we work on that. Okay, so, yeah. so, so the plasma rocket is not the same thing as a plasma fusion rocket. Because the fusion is just a whole other source of energy. Yeah, so the plasma rocket, the the energy can come from just uh, uh, some solar panels. Because, for example, for the moon, we have the sun sitting there. So we can get, you know, um, use the, the solar panels mm -hmm. that can't to be get the, the power. But that can't be the level of, of uh, com compared to plasma fusion, getting... Through, oh, through solar panels cannot give you the same it's level enough, of It's enough from the lower. I want more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> I want the best. I'm an American. <laughs> and that's how we do this in America. But we still, we, have, we, don't, we don't even have that. We are not, this is like a FedEx going to moon and coming back, yes? Mm -hmm. That's what we are talking about very efficiently. Mm -hmm. and uh, And you don't need that much of a power to do that, like, 500 kilowatt is so enough. It's, like, it's enough. You don't need mega, uh, millions right. of... Right, so they get there faster, yeah. but the guy still leaves the package like 20 feet from your door and you have to walk out in your <laughs> underwear the again. And steal it. Right, no. <laughs> Nothing changes with you scientists. You don't really Oh, you walk us. out in your underwear to get your packages. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will port you My next time. My neighbors requested that. <laughs>